it a new year. You know what that means. Hearing ads about the gym, people trying to get in shape, eating better food, and so on. Three weeks later. People stop doing that and go back to their normal routine. Not going back into the gym, eating a lot, busy with a job, and more. Which I can understand mostly in the job area. I just hope people didn't use a lot of their money on buying a punching bag or a gym membership. However, this does give me an idea for a video. I'm going to talk about Nintendo Switch games in this video for time and money reasons. I do not go to a gym because I do not have the money and I don't want people looking at me. I don't have any workout stuff at home either. What I do have are video games. A few of them being workout games and I often find myself playing one of them about 5 days of the week. Why buy a peloton bike for a lot of money that you are not going to use when you can buy one of these games. What we have on Switch are for different people at different prices. Each game does a better job than others when it comes to how the workout is done. I don't like giving games a score like most reviewed, but I will be ranking them by on the workout, presentation, and content for each game. For the record, there are a few things I need to put out for info. I would use the phrase, take it with a grain of thought, but I don't think thought is good for you. However, I'm not a doctor. Well, that is a no duh for a lot of people. I don't call myself a really fit person. I'm 27, I'm 5'4, and I weigh at 128. And I'm not going to give any tips or a fight. All I know is that you can't eat a bunch of crap and think you're going to lose weight. I'm pretty sure you can't lose weight that way. I'm not looking at games where I'm not moving anything but my finger or one arm. Games like Mario Tennis and Mario with Sonic Olympic games are not counted. Games I will not be talking about are Yoga Master and Active Life because I do not own the game. But they would not give me the type of workout I'm looking for. Okay, moving on. This game is one reason why most people watch my channel. I do play the game often for a workout and it feels like the easiest game to do for a workout in my opinion. If you have never played the game before, you copy the dance and get points by how well the game picked up your motion. Pressing the top button will put the game in sweat mode. The game tells you the sweat level of each map and will keep track of how much time you've been playing. By default, you have a choice of 40 plus music with about 12 alternative versions. The list 40 games heavily favored music that was made recently. I would recommend 2022 or the newest version of the game when the game is cheap. If you want more content out of the game, you have to buy a unlimited path. Unlimited offered a lot of content. A new copy of the game gives you a free month. Think about your time in internet before you buy, which will be an issue for people. One issue with the game I have are the sweat levels. They all may not be accurate or on the mark. The dad can give you a workout, but you may have to play math with the sweat level being medium. It's hard to say if I can call Just Dance a workout game or not, but it's a fun game. This game is similar to Just Dance, but offered a better workout than most of the default map in that game. I don't know much about Latin fitness or Latin culture for that matter. 
are you subtitled in Google Translate? Okay. However, I'm pretty sure the word cannot be used a lot in Latin fitness. A lot of the music in the game used the word, and I really don't know why. I know the title of the game is called that, but that doesn't mean the word should be used a lot. Anyway, the game offers 30 different dance courses, and all of them are done very well. I don't know much about Latin fitness, but the game is basically watching and copying a video on YouTube about the subject, but in video game form. The motion tracking is okay for the most part. There are moments when the game didn't pick up my motion, and I was doing the dance right. My issues with the game are the lack of content and basic presentation. You have everything from the start with no unlockable courses. The classes are just you playing the 30 courses like a playlist for a short, medium, or long amount of time. That is all the game has to offer. No new content, free or paid. And no, you can't make your own playlist. The game offered a good workout, but it lacking in content. Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise This game focuses on nothing but boxing movement like punching, blocking, and weaving. You copy your trainer doing every punch and movement in the right timing. Both of the time, the game reads my punches and moves very well. You have a daily workout mode and free play. In the daily workout, the game will give you workout based on the part of the body you want to focus on. You have the option to pick your level, goal, and how long you want to play. Free play mode is where you get to choose your own workout. You can check your progress and view achievement giving some people a reason to keep playing. You have a pick of 10 trainers that you can cut them on and unlock items for. If you care how they look. The music does not matter that much, but the game does have original music and mainstream music like Alone and Hot and Cold. However, all the music had no lyric and the mainstream music are all covered. Every song had a normal and fat option that affect the workout. The game had paid DLC, but it's all music and does not change the gameplay. The game offers 30 courses with 3 levels of difficulty, low, high, and no mercy. Before each court, the game tells you what movement and punches you will be doing, as well as what part of the body that court will focus on. The game does offer a review of how to do each punch, combo, and movement. This is useful for people who are not sure if they are doing something right. Also, the game had aid and removing options. If you do not like to do weaving or something else, you can have weaving removed from your daily workout, or you can have the game out of score weaving. The No Mercy level annoys me a little. It's mostly a repeat of the high level. The end of the level core just repeat the end of high level again. And the trainers act differently when on no mercy, and they come off at trying too hard. Box like you mean it. Don't relax your abs. Eh, not bad. Rotate your hips and feet. Were you expecting praise? Good session. You had the moves down. Watch your technique and timing. I'll make a rival out of you yet. Let's get serious. Dig deeper, deeper. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I can really recommend this game and it's my go-to for a workout. It reminds me a lot of Wii Fit in a good way. Knockout, home fitness. Knockout had a lot in common with Fitness Boxing 2. 
The game feels like a discounted fitness bot thing and the game is $10 cheaper. A lot of movements are based on boxing and other martial arts like karate and kung fu. The differences between the game are the action lane, movement, and workout. In knockout, you will be doing punches as well as other movements not in fitness boxing, like kicking and lunging. The game aims to give a strong workout at half the time. Depending on the court, you'll be redirecting between the left and the right, and maybe a middle one. The action lane is at the bottom of the TV. Blue node for left movement, red node for right, and white node for whole body movement like ducking. Unlocking new courted or progressing will be a problem. In order for you to unlock new courted, you have to play personal training mode. You can only play once a day and you can't unlock anything in free play mode. There is a way to unlock more courted. Play the daily workout mode a little bit. Leave the mode, edit your option, and that will restart the mode. You have four trainers that give you feedback. However, you cannot customize the trainer. The game has 25 music tracks. The music is not something to write home about. It is here to get people in the mood for the workout and have a nice range of genres. The game offers a good number of courses, but you cannot change the level of them. Each one is about 3 to 5 minutes long. You have your daily workout mode and a 3 minute mode. In the daily workout, the game will give you workout based on options you pick. 3 minute mode is a free play mode where you get to choose your own workout. The game reads my movement just fine. White movement like dodging, blocking, lunging, and kicking are not counted by the game which might be better because motion control can be a hit or miss in game. The impact of my punch it or the sound effect used is weak. I know that may come off as mindless, but I want to hear my punch it have a great impact. Doing a left hook and left uppercut felt a little odd to me, because in Fitness Botting 2, that game have you turn or rotate and net do the uppercut or hook. The body punch felt odd to me and the game only had one type of body attack. While in Fitness Bopping 2 you have different types of body punches like a body jab, body hook, body straight, and body uppercut. My biggest issue with Knockout is that the game is not for beginners. It's a game that wants you to be the type of person that knows what they are doing from the start. A few of the workouts like the fight and challenge courses have a lot of punches and fast movement. Some of the workouts in the game are somewhat questionable. Doing two crosses back to back does not feel right. The last thing I want to touch on is that the game did freeze on me once and it's a new copy. Okay. The game is good, but not a knockout. One last game. If you do not like dancing or fighting, well, how about a fitness RPG? Out of every workout game on Nintendo Switch, this is one of the most creative ones. You take an RPG and fit it and put them into one. Now, with the game being an RPG, you might be thinking the plot is great like Mario RPG, Final Fantasy, Persona, or Xenoblade.
You meet Ring, and he is your trainer giving you a fight. He needs you to help him stop an evil dragon that used to be his friend and trainee. Okay, whoever created him must watch a lot of Dragon Ball and Baki. Anyway, the plot and system is a basic RPG affair. The game comes with the ring con and a leg cord. The ring is very good and it doesn't feel like it would break on me no matter how much force I use. You can change the difficulty of the game if you are having an easy time or if you want to have a lighter workout. The game had 8 options as well. While I do like the ring con, you do need some good room to make most of these workout and not everyone had that option. On every main level, you will be mainly jogging. And you will be doing other things in the level like rowing a boat or breaking a rock. During the level, you will be fighting monsters and bosses by doing fitness moves like yoga poses, hip shaping, and more. If you have played a turn-based RPG before, then you know how the gameplay and system work. You attack and let the monster attack you. When the monster attack, you guard their attack by putting the ring con to your stomach as hard as you can. The game had many games during your quest and it gives a good change of pace. As well as a music mini game that is quite fun. Ring Fit is a very good game. However, it can be tiring and not in I'm getting a good workout tiring. Tiring as in everything had to be done by using the ring con tiring. Want to make a smoothie? Use the ring con. Break a rock? Use the ring con. Jumping on a trampoline? Use the ring con. Opening a jet? Use the ring con. At the end of the level, you have to squat and raise your arms up. In other words, you have to use the ring con. This is overkill. Not everything had to be done using the ring con. It's nice to use the ring con to break a rock for the first time, but becomes annoying later on. The only motion I didn't like was rowing a boat. You put the ring to your stomach, squeeze it, and turn left and right. Moving left and right, not a problem, but you need to squeeze the ring when turning left and right. It doesn't feel natural to me. Because the game is an RPG, you may have to do some level grinding, and grinding in these types of games are annoying for some people. However, you don't have to play adventure mode. Most of the stuff that you do in single player mode can be done outside the mode. The jogging levels with rowing a boat and jumping on trampoline can be played. Mini games and the music based game are here too. Fighting monsters and bosses are replaced and you can still do your fitness moves like yoga poses. Ring Fit Adventure is the most creative game for people who are looking for a workout game. However, the game needs a lot of room to play and the ring con can be a bit overkill at time. Working out is not a problem for me because I have the game. The game will not get you a hot body. Well, that's a no duh. I try to play the game from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the time I have. I try rotating game or play 30 minutes of one game and 30 minutes of another one. However, I don't know if one of these games can really replace going to a gym. Again, I am not a doctor. Not to mention other problems like having a diet, eating better food, finding the time, and more. I'm at 
myself have a hard time going on a diet but i don't really eat a lot of food but giving up your favorite food is not easy and don't force yourself to do that like i said i don't call myself a fit person and i'm not perfect myself i eat cake okay while most people would put these workout games on their shelf and quit early losing weight and wasting money. But hey, at least you didn't waste money on a Peloton bike.